it's time to get busy. Crossing up and all that stuff, that's for fun time, pictures, or whatever, okay? When you're racing. Win races.
our judges tonight. Tell us how the King of Dirt's going to work. Well, Mike, we're going to have 14 of the world's raddest jumpers here at the King of Dirt tonight. Out of that 14, we're going to qualify five for the final round. Those guys are going to jump four times. We're going to take their best three jumps, and we're going to crown a new King of Dirt here at the GT ABA Grand Nationals of BMX. Chris, Mad Dog, Moeller, s and extraordinaire. What are you looking for as a judge tonight? I'm looking for power, Mike. I'm looking for a lot of speed, and I'm looking for uh, plenty of style. Paul Green, one of our judges tonight. What are you going to be looking for out there? I'm going to be looking for a, basically fashion. Whoever's looking the best, whoever's got the best uniform, the best shoes, looking clean, uh, a lot of jewelry. That's probably going to take it. Well, mostly long hair. You know, no hair, nowhere. That's all I'm saying. No, actually, really, I want to see some good, clean jewelry. Jumps. What are you looking for out there? Well, Mike, we're going to be looking for height, style, and these guys got not, not only pull off the jump, they got to land it smooth. So we're looking for a combination of about three different things, the height, the style, and if they pull it off. Captain Chaos, one of the judges here tonight, King of Dirt, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for a mix of new style mixed with some old style, you know, some crazy stuff, taking off the limbs, kicking the feet around, but I'm looking for the tabletops, the stylish BMX turn bars, all of that crazy stuff that's going down tonight, Oklahoma City, huh? ABA Grands, baby! Todd Lyons, me. That's who's going to take the win tonight. RO Bicycle, Huntington Beach, California. I'm winning. I'm going to stick to my main tricks, flatties and stuff like that. We're just out here to have a good time. I had a rough trip out here. I need to make some money to get home. Greyhound, 6'9 or less. <laughs> um, looks like it's going to be a backflip, truck driver, Superman Sea Grabber, and 360 table. Let's see what goes on. Cool. I'll try to get rad. Doing it for swim. I'm uh, gonna go bigger. Bigger and try some more tricks. I got this, the super duper helmet on. So I'm going flying. And with every event, you gotta have one mascot. It's awful canawful. Taking out the trash and clearing our palate for the good stuff. So bring on the caviar, Mike. Yeah, Todd, it's time for a little first round shred. Round one, it was Jay Myron with round two coming down the pipe. Myron is still the man.
round three, G.J. Lavin. Judges went to crunching the numbers to determine our king of dirt. The answer came. T.J. Lavin was the Mac Daddy of Oklahoma City. He takes home the crown, and he is the king of dirt. Mike Redman caught up with him. Tonight's 1995 King of Dirt winner, T.J. Lavin. You came out of nowhere. Surprise winner. What was going through your mind out there? Just to try to land every trick, man. I, I usually freeze up in tense contests and everything else, and I, I don't know what happened. I just, all of a sudden, I just started pulling tricks, and I, I couldn't believe I won. It's, I've been long awaiting to even be entered in the King of Dirt, and to win it my first time is, is unbelievable. I can't even believe it. Congratulations, TJ. Thanks, Mike. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye, BMXers. See you next time.